Hey guys, Sankarn again here, bringing you another video, and in this video we're going to be discovering some more redstoneless logic. This is some of the newest stuff that I've been doing, and the new stuff that I've been discovering, which has been helping me on my journey to getting a completely redstoneless ALU. And for starters, we're going to start with the AND gate. Now previously we saw the AND gate to be this massive beast here with its two inputs f coming from the rails on this side and its output coming from down here. So from that massive beast I managed to compact it down to this four wide um, pretty long uh, AND gate. But let's just quickly run through the possibilities. Let's go A only And now let's go B. And now the final possibility is A and B at the same time. So let's just do that. And you notice that this output here just went wee and then went up and around and reset. So that's great. That's what we wanted. That's the AND gate. Now if you remember the OR gate, it looks something like this. Um, some, what's this, uh, six blocks wide, uh, incredibly long. Of course this could mm, maybe be shortened, I don't know, maybe, but hey, there's this design and there's this new design that I made, which in my opinion it's much more compact and again much smaller. You can cut this bit off and then just add in a reset around here. Um, this one is five blocks wide instead of six, so I think it's much better. Let's just run through the possibilities. A provides an output. Let's try B. B provides an output. Now finally, it's A and B at the same time, and once again, it provides an output. So this here is our internal OR gate. So now I'm briefly going to go over some of the memory latches and um, stuff that I have for redstone circuitry. The first one to show is the RS null hatch, and this was featured in my redstone uh, minecart station, which I think is over there somewhere. But anyway, um, this one currently just works on the um, position of the player. So if we walk into this side the state switches. And again, the state switches. And we can just go back and forwards changing the state of this RS Norlatch. Now the final thing that I have to show is the T flip-flop. And it uses a similar principle to the RS Norlatch here. Same sort of uh, setup. But now we use a cow in a minecart. And when we accelerate this cow he'll actually touch these minecarts and it'll actually change its state. This is due to the fact that the cow has a hitbox which is slightly larger than one block. <laughs> when we activate this again, the cow again just briefly touches it and it gives a sort of a springy back motion and the minecarts appear back to here. Unfortunately this is purely directional only works in this direction. I don't know what the hell this direction is, but I can just show you it's the direction in which X increases. What do you know? There's a lot of things that only work in that direction as well. Um, <laughs> C for one. But anyway, so this is just one T flip flop that you can use. There's also another design for an RS Norlatch which uh, revolves around boats which I'll put a link up in the description and you can also with that create a T flip-flop so the way that works is you trigger both sides of the RS Norlatch at once allowing the boat to go free and then go to the other side and then it will set on the other one and then you can trigger both at once again and then it will reset and that's how you do the T flip-flop with an RS Norlatch 